Today I'd like to talk to you about mediation. Hi, my name is Jim Crayeveld and I'm the founder and president of Crayeveld Law. My team and I would love to share some issues with you that come up during mediation. Sometimes people think it's uncomfortable or stressful, especially if you were to be put in one room together with your ex. Um, you can always ask that you be put in separate rooms. Typically, mediation is court ordered. Sometimes attorneys just agree to go to mediation. Mediation is typically a good thing. The alternative is going to trial, which is really expensive. You're not in control and the judge can do whatever they feel like within bounds. And it might not be taking into account all of your particular concerns that relate to your family, your assets, your income. You always have the right to choose your mediator. Having an experienced attorney help you with that it's always beneficial. Remember that if you go to mediation and you reach an agreement and you sign it or it's recorded, that agreement is binding. The good thing about that is the other side can't change their mind either. The downside is, is you want to make sure that what agreement you reached was reasonable. Another thing about having an attorney help you is to know that your Bottom line, that you want to achieve is reasonable and that your settlement is reasonable. You need to go in knowing what your bottom line is before you go in. However, is that bottom line reasonable? You can't walk in saying, well, I want 80% of the assets and I want to have lifelong income or alimony and spousal support after having a two-year marriage. Um, again, your settlement proposal or where you want to end up needs to be reasonable. Typically, my team or I will join our clients when we go to mediation. They can attend, they should attend. If you have questions about mediation, call us. Talk to you soon.